that's a good one. The secret is to be able to recognise, go back, and utilise a leader. Today we are at the Pentland Camp Draft Arena, about 250 k southwest of Townsville. We're here for a three-day school for the Advanced Livestock Management with Neil McDonald. It provides grazers with the tool to be able to adopt methodologies such as cell grazing, rotational grazing, or just shifting cattle more frequently. What well, this is the real secret is to be able to come out here with five head of cattle and have them on an invisible rope. We need to get to a stage where we've got bigger mobs of livestock, cattle in this country, in smaller areas shifted more often. By adopting those methodologies, it improves ground cover, which ultimately reduces sediment runoff to the reef. Once you get livestock in bigger mobs shifted more often, you think it might be easier, but if you can have behavioural problems with those livestock, having cattle educated with working dogs is getting cattle to surrender from doing annoying things. Once you've got that, it makes them easier to go and do different grazing practices. We're not going to have anywhere near the trouble that you would have with cattle that had never been exposed to a correct handling and a dog system. Oh, I've been using dogs myself probably 15 years. Oh, I've got five, five working dogs. The ease of management with a dog is, is second to none. My cattle are soft and quiet, but that one's there that you see today, that's Neil's touch with them. He's had them here for a few days. That is just absolutely beautiful. That's what you've got to have. When you finish working your cattle, you've got to have your cattle face you. When you can get your cattle like that, when they're stress tolerant, it's very possible they're going to eat and convert better because they're not going to walk a fence, they're not going to be haunted in a yard, they're going to be relaxed and accepting of things. Here comes the saying of the day, a dog will not try to understand you unless it knows you understand it. But really the big benefit is introduce the working of dogs to the weaners and let those weaners grow up to be heard. So the cattle and the dogs have to grow up together in a way more easier to handle frame of mind. So what's really happening, the dog is learning to tuck cattle in and cattle are learning to be tucked in. So when cattle learn to be tucked in, they stop being rogues. So when you haven't got them being rogues, there's not one peeling off and running where you've got to go hard after it with some form of vehicle or horse to block it. So it's not only changing mood or the way of the cattle, but then it's also the benefits are for safety for people. This just proves the preparation, handling for cattle and training and, and low stress your whole life becomes easier. The first morning we got the dogs out, they just kind of, not, not like they led like these guys straight away, but they gave to them, like they gave to the dogs pretty soft, sort of gave off them, which just makes life easier. It's good fun and it makes a big difference to the cows. If you are passionate about your dogs and if you're passionate about improving yourself, because it's not about improving your dogs, it's about improving yourself. So if you come with the thought that you can't learn anything, but it's, you know, your dog's going to learn anything, it's not going to work for you. But if you come with an open mind and want to learn how to, you know, work your cattle better, work your dogs better, then it's absolutely for you. We've had hundreds of people over the last two or three years go through these courses. The work done by the Dry Tropics and having people spreading the word and actually coordinate these courses, making them available for the people, it's got to be leading to um, obviously more interest. By doing it this way you get rest periods in your country and then you can get cover left on your country, you're going to reduce and, and eliminate the risk of erosion, uh, wash-offs. Get off and go back. Ah, ah.